Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U in the last episode. We went through games and more, and we looked at a bunch of modes. We went and looked at... Um, mostly we looked at the Special Orders, Events, and All-Star mode. And in today's episode, we're going to be focusing all on one mode, and that's Stadium mode. Um, this is actually, like I said before, this is just a pre-recording my first time playing. I was looking and curious and everything else. I was trying to figure out what we did in the last episode when I was recording that. But uh, we're going to be looking at the three different modes in Stadium mode. Uh, we're going to look at Target Blast, Multi-Man, Smash, and Home Run Contest. Now, Target Smash is a new feature that was added to Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U. Uh, normally in the, in the Smash series, they've always had this mode called Target Smash. As in, um, you had to go and smash the targets, essentially. You had to take a character and you had to smash the targets. But... In this one, they changed it up a little bit with when it comes to targets. What they did was they made a target blast. Now, target blast, you have two two attempts to um, essentially cause this bomb to smash as many targets as you can. And you have like 10 seconds in order to do this. You can do this twice in each round. And then I'll just go ahead and do this, see? Try to build up as much damage as you can, and you cause the target to blow up, or to the bomb to blow up, and destroy as many targets as I can. And you get two attempts at this, so, and you have a total score at the end of it. And I actually like this little mini game. It's pretty cool. It's pretty <laughs> entertaining, and I like it that they. I, I'm kind of sad, in an honest opinion, about them taking away break the targets. But I'm completely fine with this mode. This mode is actually pretty cool, and I really like it. Now, I, I do actually try to actually do really well on this. I'm going to try to build as much as I can. But I kind of overshot there right there. Uh, right there. Um, I was using Bowser. Bowser's a pretty heavyweight character, so I figured I'll do as much damage as I can, possibly. <laughs> I'm going to smash the target as much as I can. Don't hit the barrier too much whenever you're bouncing that barrier, ba um, the bomb back from the barrier, because it will break off. And because of that, uh, I completely, like, really skipped over that real quick. I actually got a Metroid trophy out of that. That was pretty cool. Um, and I was like, oh, I did it again. I was like, I don't want to play this anymore. I just wanted to show it off once. <laughs> so I was like, okay, let's go back to the fighter re return screen here. Uh, this is actually one of the first couple episodes I actually had to edit because uh, failures, essentially. Um, we'll get into more detail about what, what that is now. Um, there's three stages of Target Smash, so you can go ahead and play them all if you want to. Next, we're going to go into Multi-Man Smash. They have many variants of this. you got 10-Man Smash, 100-Man Smash, 3-Minute Smash, Rival Smash, Endless Smash, and Cruel Smash. Uh, this is pretty much the Multi-Man Smash from... Um, when you had to fight the fighting me team in classic mode. Essentially, that's what, what you're doing. You're just fighting a bunch of me characters and <laughs> using, character, uh, using a, a character, essentially. Uh, I, right off the bat, I go ahead and do 10-man smash. I'll go and expl explain what that is. Essentially, you're fighting 10 people. 10 fighting me's. So, um, for this, I used regular Link, because I actually like using Link. Link is actually one of my favorite characters from the orig original Smash Bros. Now, what they did with Link, they kind of have improved him a lot in this game. Link has always suffered from <laughs> jumping, uh, inability to jump. He hasn't really been able to jump that well and recover. But in Smash 4, they kind of made it a little bit better for him. So, I mean, granted, his jump isn't the greatest, but they've actually improved it. So that way, he can recover, <laughs> unlike other modes. Um, another thing that they did with Link was whenever you're dashing and you're going to attack, he'll do a jump attack. Like, oh, like so, see? He did a jump attack like that. He never did that before, and I do like that. Um, the last man in the multi-man smash is always a big version of your character, which I thought that was pretty cool. But we cleared 10 man smash. Didn't, yeah, it wasn't too difficult at all. Now, we're going to go and use the next mode. We're actually going to go into the next mode here. It says, uh, we got 100 gold for clearing 10-man smash, essentially. That was a challenge on the challenge board. 
And we got a lot more challenges to do, but we're not I'm not gonna be doing all the challenges on screen, trust me, we'd be here forever. Um anyways, we're gonna go on to a hundred man smash. But we're actually gonna use a main of mine, we're actually gonna use Toon Link. Toon Link is essentially Link. Difference is he's tiny and a lot faster. So that's one thing about Toon Link I like. Um Toon Link, unfortunately, probably the biggest thing I can really say that is Toon Link's weaknesses compared to Link is because Toon Link is small, he's easy knock back he's easy to knock back essentially. Um, if you push up B for his recovery, it's a spin attack. It's a very devastating attack, and honestly, if you're trying to do a hundred man melee or a hundred man smash, whatever it is, a hundred man smash, and you want to clear it out really fast, I just suggest using that spin attack. A spin attack will clear him out really quick. Uh, they do give you a power. They do give you items every now and then. There's a little platform that pops up and it drops an item if you need it. But one thing I really need to suggest is the fact that, well, as you guys can see, it gets really hairy very fast if you're not careful. Now you have to go through a hundred of these guys, and honestly, <laughs> it gets really tedious after a while. But uh, every ten, they actually spawn a character. Like, as you guys can see, um, King DDD appear. So, we actually had to fight King DDD, essentially. It's like every ten characters, they actually drop a new, another character. I think they do, at least. It's either, either ten or fifteen, I can't remember. But, um, this, uh, gun is actually a very overpowered item for this. And since, well, the Fighting Me team's AI is not very smart, they won't recover if they knocked off a ledge. So... <laughs> It's really easy to knock them off the ledge and they won't jump back, so. And we got a big version of Link. I think it's every 20, I think. Because now we're going into... No, that was every 50. Uh, the 50 mark, there's a giant character right there. We got we had giant Link there. I couldn't read the number very well there. <laughs> but, anyways, we're getting down to the end here. Uh, this is actually, like I said before, this is an episode where I had to actually edit some stuff out. You might notice a little bit of things. I cut out a bunch of battles that, um, had failed attempts at this because in the initial recording, I failed a lot in some of these ones. I've always not been good at this. This one's always been bad for me. I don't know why. I've always had trouble with, mul with multi-man melee, essentially. And I failed a couple times in... And upon looking at this, there is a there is a um, a special reward for this. Essentially, first time playing, your first time playing Smash Bros, you do get a reward for clearing 100 man Smash. So I want to keep keep you that in mind. If you if you're trying to unlock things and you're doing it the quote unquote harder way of doing it, you might want to do it this way. You might want to take a gander at this mode here because this is actually how you unlock certain, uh, a certain thing. I'll get into more in detail about that later. But um, another little tactic that I've been doing, and I've learned when, I've, when it comes to this, if you hug the ledge, and you come up and push A, you'll attack the character, and then I will knock them off, and kind of give you a little um, area of effect control a little bit. And as you guys can see, I have only got five characters left to make a two, and I've got 180 damage. I told you this gets really hairy, really fast. And with that, we've completed 100 Man Smash. And it took us three minutes to do it, but we did it. But for unlocking, for clearing 100 Man Smash, we have a new character to unlock. Um, I did die to this character one time during this, and I had to redo 100 Man Smash to do so. Um, actually, I've learned that you, if you do any other mode after you challenge to unlock them, you'll get a second chance to fight them if you lose. We're fighting Wario. Wario is was originally from the Mario series. He was practically an anti-Mario, essentially, if you want to look at it this way. He is a, a very, very, um, I guess the term I'm looking for, a very rude person? I mean, he is practically very greedy. He's very, you know, nasty. <laughs> He's really bad, but the thing is, though, um, Wario is a heavyweight character, and he will depend on his smash attacks to kill you. His recovery is actually like a spiral jump, 
And another thing that Wario does is he has a motorbike, which he'll run you over with you. But I actually killed him, so we unlocked Wario in our roster. And for completing so completing said challenge there, we defeat clear 100 man smash within three minutes. Uh, Wario, like I said before, um, is a heavyweight character. Uh, I don't really intend. I don't really use him because I don't really use Wario a lot. So <laughs> I'll use him in instances where I need to, like vent mode and stuff like that. But that's a hundred man smash. If you want to unlock Wario, you have to clear hundred man smash one time. Now three minute smash is essentially just going through multi man smash with for three minutes. See how long you can survive. I'm not gonna really look at that. But we're going to look at Rival Smash. Um, I decided against looking at a th uh, three minute smash because I just figured it's the same thing essentially. Um, we're going to look at Rival Smash. You have two characters actually fighting and uh, you have a rival per, per se. And you have to kill more than your rival d does before you die essentially. Um, I'm playing as Captain Falcon. Captain Falcon's actually a really good character. He's always been a really good character, uh, especially with that Falcon Punch. If you pu simply push B, Captain Falcon will do his famous Falcon Punch! And he'll do a, like a devastating attack. But um, as you guys can see, um, I'm trying to get back and I don't think I'll be able to. Nope. Essentially, you have to beat your rival when it comes to killing characters. I killed seven more than my rival, I think. I think that's how you re I got seven characters rather than my rival. So we cleared out rival smash. Um, like I said before, I'm not really going to look at many of these because they're practically the same thing. Endless smash is just fighting until you die. <laughs> but the last mode in there is cruel smash, and this is by far the hardest one. Cruel smash is where they amp the difficulty of all the characters make them really hard to knock off, and they swarm you. This is hard. I'm going to say this. This took me a good 20 minutes in this recording session to actually, you know, beat one. I, I fail at first because I tried out a new character. I tried out Greninja. I wanted to try out Greninja here, and this was actually the worst thing to do for Gre um, Greninja. It was essentially do this. It was do Cruel Smash. I should have used my main, but... Um, anyways, as you guys can see, they do a lot of damage, too, and they just pound me in the ground, like, the first ten, ten seconds. That's ridiculous. But we came back, um, I did a little edit there. I used Toon Link again for this. Um, this is hard, because you have to play defensively. You have to play defensively, there's no way around it. Um, stay away from them as much as you can. All you have to do is kill one character. If you kill one character in, in Cruel Smash, you have another unlock. We are fighting a new, new character. This is a brand new character for the series, for Smash Bros. We are going to be taking on probably the newest newcomer. <laughs> and this one was a, quite a baffle for a lot of people when they realized, oh, it's the Duck Hunt dog. It's the dog from Duck Hunt from the NES. They actually put him as made him a character in this game, and he... In my opinion, Duck Hunt Dog is kind of in the same category of as a quote-unquote obscure characters. There's three in particular. There's Mr. Game & Watch, there's Rob, and then there's Duck Hunt Dog. Duck Hunt Dog is kind of put in that category of obscure characters. Um, Duck Hunt Dog is basically, uh, his uh, moveset's based on the NES Zapper back in the day. The NES Zapper was a, a light rail gun that you had added to your NES and you actually shoot a shot at the screen essentially. Um, Duck Hunt Dogs, most of his attacks are essentially, essentially projectiles. But um, I actually, like I said before in the second episode, unlocking characters have, has never been my forte. I've always had, I've always choked when it comes to unlocking characters. I've always died at least once. Um, before, I actually read it up afterwards. I thought you had to play the mode again, fulfill the conditions as you unlock them. But no, you don't. You actually have to uh, just simply do another round of Smash and they'll be there to unlock again. And I thought you had to do the whole conditions again, but I was completely wrong. Um, as you guys can see, this is actually a pretty good fight between me and Duck and Dog. And... We're like, oh my gosh, I just need one good one good hit on Duck Hunt Dog. 
and I've got him. I've got him. One good hit. And before I before I knew it, he got the good hit on me. And, well, I died. But if you defeat one character in Cruel Smash, you do unlock the stage that you just fought on. You get the Duck Hunt stage. That's why I kept this, this, uh, this attempt in. Because uh, I unlocked the stage. It says, unlock the Duck Hunt stage. Back to the retro goodness. Now we're going to go ahead and try this again. I cut back to when we actually um, attempted to fight him again. So, I'm going to go ahead and... And this is actually the good attempt, because I think this took me a grand total three times trying to beat him. But he always... Like I said before, the CPUs have gotten buffed in this game, and I, I really see that nowadays. They're doing stuff that they didn't do in Brawl. They're doing stuff that they didn't do in Melee. <laughs> I just can't believe how powerful the CPUs are actually in this game. Well, let's, but like I said, he his uh, move sets basically um, the got the from the NES games that involved the zapper like Hogan's Alley, uh, Wild Gunman, and um, I can't think of any Duck Hunt. Obviously, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff. But we actually unlocked Duck Hunt Dog now. Now we beat him. So, Duck Hunt Dog is now with us. He's got a duck, and he actually uses that duck for recovery and some attacks, too, and I thought that was pretty cool. But that's pretty much that. And now, the last mode we're actually going to go take a look at, now that we've actually unlocked every everything from the Multi-Man Smash section, is Home Run Contest. Now, Home Run Contest essentially is from the other games, essentially. We're going to be using Yoshi for this. Now, Home Run Contest involves you beating the crap out of this sandbag in within like 10 seconds, beating the crap out of him, and then actually hitting him with a home run bat. Now, in order to use the home run bat effectively, you have to ch practically do your, your charge smash attack with the home run bat equipped. And if you hit something with it, you'll send it flying. You'll get a home run. But you have to do that in 10 seconds. The more damage you do to the sandbag, the farther the distance the sandbag will fly when you hit it with the home run bat. So, that's pretty much that in a nutshell. That was in all the other iterations of Smash Bros, and that's actually one of my favorite mini games to play. But, uh, anyways, guys, that's pretty much all of, uh, solo games and more. We've got a couple more things I'm gonna show off. But I'm going to show that off in the next episode. So the next episode of Let's Play Super Smash Brothers, we're actually going to go and unlock all the rest of the characters that we can while looking at these other modes. So I'll see you guys in the next episode.